Hello and welcome to History Pod. The Arab Revolt began fully on June the 10th, 1916, when Grand Sharif Hussein bin Ali, the guardian of the holy city of Mecca, ordered his troops to attack the Ottoman Caliphate's garrison in the city. Hussein's troops, drawn from his tribe, significantly outnumbered the Ottoman soldiers, but they were considerably less well equipped. Consequently, despite impressive initial gains, Hussein's troops were unable to win the battle until Egyptian soldiers sent by the British arrived to provide artillery support. Through correspondence with Sir Henry MacMahon, the British High Commissioner of Egypt at the time, Hussein had become convinced that the revolt would be rewarded with an independent Arabian Empire that would stretch throughout the Middle East. The British supported the revolt as it distracted tens of thousands of Ottoman troops from joining other fronts in the First World War or from threatening the important Suez Canal. Captain T. E. Lawrence, better known as Lawrence of Arabia for his involvement in the revolt, joined with the Arab forces in October 1916. Although he was just one of many British and French officers who worked closely with the Arabs during the revolt, newspaper reports of his guerrilla tactics and his close relationship with Hussein's sons, Faisal and Abdullah, earned him particular fame. The Arab revolt was an enormous success, but the outcome was not what was agreed in the Hussein MacMahon correspondence. The British and French instead divided the land according to the secret Sykes-Picot agreement that they had negotiated between themselves in 1916. Hussein was given just the Hejaz region in the Arabian Peninsula, and that was taken from him in 1925 by Ibn Saud. 